So today's a pretty exciting day for me, because one of my favorite bike companies, Ragley, has just released their all new revised frames. So in this video, we're going to check out the whole Ragley lineup, just so we can check out the updates and the changes that were made, and talk about the future for some of the models. So now, let's check out the updated Ragley frame lineup. According to Ragley, their main focus for 2023 was to modernize their frames without alienating their customer base. They did this by making subtle changes that made their frames more progressive, but not too radical. First, we're going to look at the legendary Marley, which is Ragley's alloy 27.5 inch trail bike, which is designed for a more all-round rider. The Marley is made of 6061 alloy and built around 27.5 inch wheels, and it's designed to run a fork between 130 and 140 millimeters. It has a 65 degree head tube angle, a 75 degree seat tube angle, and short 4 and 25 millimeter chainstays. It has a very reasonable wheelbase of 1,145 millimeters in the small size, and it goes about 24 millimeters with each bigger size. The reach is 4 and 20 millimeters in the small size, and it goes up 20 millimeters in each bigger size. The Marley 275 weighs in about 4.8 pounds. It includes rear axle, chainstay protector, and comes with a 5 year warranty and a lifetime crash replacement. The Marley 275 comes in sizes small through extra large. It's available in either red or black and retails for 4 and 20 bucks, which I think any Bob fan would appreciate. So next is the Marley 290, which is an all new model for 2023 and it's built around 29 inch wheels and it's Ragley's dedicated 29er alloy trail bike. The Marley 290 is made of 6061 alloy and it's designed to run a fork between 130 and 140 millimeters of travel. It comes with a 65 degree head tube angle a 75 degree seat tube angle, and 4 and 35 millimeter chainstays. It comes with a very reasonable wheelbase of 1,188 millimeters in the small size, and it goes up 24 millimeters with each bigger size. The reach is 4 and 40 millimeters in the small size, and it goes up 20 millimeters with each bigger size. The Marley 290 weighs in about 4.8 pounds, and includes a rear axle, chainstay protector, and comes with a five year warranty and a lifetime crash replacement. The Marley 290 comes in sizes medium through extra large and is available in either yellow or green and retails for $420. Next up is the Mbop, which is Ragley's alloy enduro bike that's designed to be slack, aggressive, and a straight up ripper. The Mbop is made of 6061 alloy and it's built around 27 half inch wheels. It's designed to run a fork between 150 and 160 millimeters and it comes with 425 millimeter chainstays. And there has been some changes to the geometry of the Mbop frame. The first is that the head tube has been slackened and it now has a 63 degree head tube angle. The seat tube angle is now 75 degrees and the reach has been increased across all sizes. It's now 4 and 30 millimeters in the small size and increases 25 millimeters with each bigger size. The seat tube length has been shortened as well and it's now 380 millimeters in the small size and increases 30 millimeters with each bigger size. The bottom bracket has been dropped 5 millimeters and the wheelbase has been increased across all sizes with the bike being 1,182 millimeters in the small size and increasing 20 millimeters with each larger size. The Mbop weighs in about 4.8 pounds, includes rear axle, chainstay protector, and comes with a five year warranty and a lifetime crash replacement. It's available in sizes small through extra large in either copper or silver colors and it retails for $420. Next up is the Blue Pig, which is Ragley's steel enduro bike and it's basically the steel version of the Mbop. The Blue Pig is made of 4130 chromoly steel and it's built around 27 half inch wheels. It's designed to run a fork between 150 and 160 millimeters and it comes with 4 and 25 millimeter chainstays. The changes are the same as the Mbot frame, but we're still going to go through them. The first is that the head tube has been slackened and now has a 63 degree head tube angle. The seat tube angle is now 75 degrees and the reach has been increased across all sizes. It's now 4 and 30 millimeters in the small size and increases 25 millimeters with each bigger size. The bottom bracket has dropped five millimeters and the wheelbase has been increased in all sizes, with the bike being 1,182 in the small size and increased about 20 millimeters with each larger size. The Blue Pig weighs in about 6.7 pounds. It includes a rear axle, chainstay protector, and comes with a five year warranty and a lifetime crash replacement. The Blue Pig comes in sizes small through extra large and it retails for $650. Next is the Big Al, which is Ragley's Alloy 29 er enduro bike that has been made even more hardcore and aggressive this year. The Big Al is made of 6061 alloy and built around 29 inch wheels. It's designed to run a fork between 140 and 160 millimeters and has 435 millimeter chainstays. 
And for this year, there's been a lot of changes to the big owl geometry. The first is the head tube angle, which has been slackened a whole 2 degrees, and now it's 63.5 degrees. The C tube angle is now 75 degrees, and the reach has been increased across all sizes. And it's now 4 and 55 in the smallest size, and increases 25 millimeters with each bigger size. And the C tube length has also been shortened, and it's now 4 and 10 millimeters in the smallest size, and it goes up 30 millimeters with each bigger size. The bottom bracket has now been dropped 5 millimeters, and the wheelbase has been increased, with the bike being 1,223 millimeters in the smallest size, and increasing 20 millimeters with each larger size. The big gal weighs in at 4.8 pounds, includes a rear axle, chainstay protector, and comes with a 5 year warranty and a lifetime crash replacement. The Big Al is available in sizes medium through extra large. It's available in either aqua or white, and it retails for $420. Next is the Big Wig, which is Raggly Steel 29er Enduro Bike, and it's basically the steel version of the Big Al. The Big Wig is made of 4130 chromoly steel, and it's built around 29 inch wheels. And it's designed to run a fork between 140 and 160 millimeters, and has 435 millimeter chainstays. And just like the Big Al, there's been a lot of changes to the Big Wig geometry. The first is the head tube has been slackened by 2 degrees, and now has a 63.5 degree head tube angle. And the C tube angle is now 75 degrees, and the reach has been increased across all sizes. It's now 4 and 55 millimeters in the smallest size, and increases by 25 millimeters for each bigger size. The C tube length has also been shortened, and it's now 4 and 10 millimeters in the smallest size, and goes up 30 millimeters with each bigger size. The bottom brackets also dropped 5 millimeters, and the wheelbase has been increased with the bike being 1,223 millimeters in the smallest size and increasing by about 20 millimeters in each larger size. The big wig weighs in around 6.7 pounds and includes a rear axle, chainstay protector, and comes with a five year warranty and a lifetime crash replacement. The bike will be available in medium through extra large sizes and in either lime green or purple color and retails for $650. And lastly is the Trig, which is Ragley's gravel bike. The Trig is made of 4130 chromoly steel, it comes with a carbon fiber fork, and can run either 650 or 700 wheels. The Trig is unchanged from last year, but we'll still go through the main details of the frame. It has a 70 degree head tube angle, a 74 degree seat tube angle, 4 and 25 millimeter chain stays, has a max tire width of 2.1 inches. The Trig weighs in around 6.4 pounds, includes a rear axle, chain stay protector, a carbon fiber fork, and comes with a 5 year warranty and a lifetime crash replacement. The Trig will be available in sizes small through extra large, it's available in white, and retails for $750. So let's discuss the elephant in the room, and that's the Ragley Piglet, which is missing from Ragley's lineup this year. Here's what Ragley had to say regarding the Piglet. The Piglet has become very niche, and the market for this type of frame has dwindled. It may be on hiatus for 2023, but we will review it and may return in the future in a new guise. Another question is, where's the complete builds? As of right now, Ragley has no intention of releasing 2023 complete bike builds. Here's what they had to say. We're now fortunately on the backside of the pandemic, but the supply chain hangover is still lingering. To reset our supply chain and manage current bike stock levels, we're not offering 2023 bikes, only new 2023 frames. It's your choice for the time being. Get yourself a 2023 frame with Tweak Geo to build the dream machine or take advantage of our dealers offering bargain 22 bikes with a slightly older but still awesome Geo. So overall, I really like the updates and changes that Ragley's made. Because I've always had a special place in my heart with Ragley. Because it's actually the Ragley Piglet that introduced me to the modern hardtail geometry and what a proper hardcore hardtail is capable of. Since then, I've sold the Piglet frame and built a Mullet Mbop, which is my favorite bike that I've ever owned. And even though it's a bummer about the Piglet model not being made anymore, and there's no complete bikes this year, I still really like what Ragley's done with the frames. And if you are let down about no complete bikes, I recommend trying to build your own. It's surprisingly easier than you would think, and the amount of pride you will take in your bike goes up tenfold. But this is just my opinion. What really matters is, how do you feel about the new Ragley range? Are you excited? Do you plan on buying one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great one.